hello today we will discuss a device called cyclo converter a cyclo converter is a device which convert input power at one frequency to output power at different frequencies means a cyclo converter is a converter which can increase or decrease the frequency of input ac voltage a cyclo converter is basically categorized into two major sub types as step down cyclo converters and step up cyclo converters a step down cyclo converter is a converter in which the output frequency is less than the supply frequency while a step up cyclo converter is a converter in which the output frequency is greater than the supply frequency now on the basis of principle of operation of cyclo converter we can broadly classified cyclo converter into three major categories as single phase to single phase cyclo converters single phase to three phase cyclo converters and three phase to three phase cyclo converter we first of all discuss single phase to single phase step up cyclo converters in single phase to single phase step up cyclo converters we have two types first one is single phase to single phase mid point type step up cyclo converter and single phase to single phase bridge type step up cyclo converter midpoint type cyclo converter are actually step up cyclo converters we are discussing in this cyclo converter the output frequency will be greater than the input frequency actually we are using the input frequency of 50 hertz and what these cyclo converters do these converts the 50 hertz frequency into increased frequency that it can be 100 hertz or 200 hertz or even greater than this depending upon our need in this cyclo converter we are using a center tap transformer whose inner winding has a center tap point called k through which load is connected in this cyclo converter we have four thyristors that is t1 t2 t3 and t4 for positive half cycle for positive half cycle thyristor t1 and t4 will work and for negative half cycle thyristor t2 and t3 will work during positive half cycle during positive half cycle the point a is positive point a is positive and b is negative the center points are also have a negative and positive polarities depending upon the connection during positive half cycle during positive half cycle 
this is a positive half cycle and this is a negative half cycle this is positive half cycle this is negative half cycle during positive half cycle i have told you that thyristor t1 and t4 will conduct so the thyristor t1 and t4 are working in positive half cycle and this is a negative half cycle so thyristor t2 and t3 will work in this half cycle actually in the positive half cycle the t1 and t4 divide this positive half this bigger positive half into three sub cycles which consist of three positive cycles and three negative cycles okay so this positive half cycle is divided into three cycles sub cycles and during negative half cycle also t2 and t3 divide this negative half into three sub cycles this is a cycle number 1 this is cycle number 2 and this is a cycle number 3 so we have convert a full ac cycle which consist of positive and negative half cycle divide this full positive and negative so we have converted a full bigger ac cycle into six sub cycles that means we have converted 50 hertz into 300 hertz that is 6 into 50 300 hertz that is we have increased our ac frequency from 50 hertz to 300 hertz now moving towards this circuit diagram how it works during the positive half cycle a is positive b is negative so thyristor t1 and thyristor t4 are forward biased these two are forward biased so these will conduct during the bigger half cycle the bigger positive half cycle so during this positive half cycle three times the current will flow through the load and through the thyristor t1 like this and three times the current will flow through the th thyristor t4 and through the load like this so we have converted a full positive half cycle into three sub cycles which consist of three positive cycles sub cycles and three negative sub cycles and during the negative half cycle a will be at negative potential and v will be at v will be at a will be at negative potential and v will be at positive potential so due to this thyristor t1 and thyristor t3 forward bias so these two two thyristors will work in the negative half cycle like in the positive half cycle in the negative half cycle also it will be converted into 
थ्री सब साइकिल्स सो वी हैव कन्वर्टेड ए बिगर पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल इन टू सिक्स सब साइकिल्स this could only be happen if we can control the turn on time and turn off time of the thyristor that means we have to control the turn on time of all these four thyristors and turn off time of all these thyristor that means for example during positive half cycle if we are converting six sub cycle we have to turn off thyristor at regular intervals like t1 at some interval t2 at some interval so we can control their turn on and turn off turn off turn off times through the gate terminals this house the cyclo converter works as step up cyclo converter thank you